Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to take you on a tour of a home with an incredible view. This home is called Molly's House and we're recording this intro from the truck because weather in Southern Utah can get crazy. To answer your question, if it ever snows here, kind of. We're, uh, we're experiencing a little bit more snow than anticipated considering that last week's weather was like summer, but it's okay. Hopefully all this stuff will melt by noon. I'll give you guys a better idea of what this home actually looks like, not from inside the truck, but for the sake of Rex and I staying not wet, nice, dry, and toasty, we're shooting this from inside the truck. So the home that we're about to tour is built by Matson Homes. It is 3,328 square feet, has four bedrooms and four bathrooms, it is located in beautiful Copper Rock out here in Hurricane. And if those of you uh, that may be shopping or maybe looking at this area and watching these Parade of Homes videos in order to get more knowledge of the neighborhoods and luxury homes, I will add a link to all the active listings in Copper Rock, they're active right now, in one of the cards above here. So if, if you're interested to see what's out there, and there are quite a few listings that are coming up right now, you'll be able to check that out. So why, why do they call this house Molly's house? Well, I think it derives from one of the old original pioneers, Molly. I mean, you're familiar with the term Molly Mormon. It's actually named after her. And I think she just had, you know, some prolific features about her. Well, not the house. <laughs> to, <laughs> to clear the air, there is a, there is a, there's a hill, there's a hike um, directly what is it, a hike? It a, is a hike, time? yeah. A peak. There's a peak called Molly's Nipple. And as it turns out, actually, there are over 11 geological objects in Utah, not just Southern Utah, that are named Molly's Nipple. Huh. Fun fact. Crazy. Let's go check it out. All right. I love all the front stone, palm trees in the snow, rare combination, only in Southern Utah. The snow is a fun element too. I love it. We can pop into the office. Hello, sir. I love the carpet in this room. It's got more of those gray and brown tones that we've been seeing. It's a really classy looking desk setup too. Looks like something you see in an interior design magazine. Take a good shot of these stairs too. I really like how they are mounted on just a single, the single floor inch. stairs. Yeah, let's go. Do another self-playing piano. Let's go check that thing out. sliding door that separates your pantry from the butler pantry. It's barn door style. We haven't seen that touch yet. I love all the black hardware and the black cabinets are really in. Oh yeah, the master I think is that way. That's a pretty 
macro view of the pool. Good rear privacy. Another barn door across. I love all the black and whites in this spray. There's black, white, and gold, and a tasteful amount of grays. Yeah, it looks good. Soaking tub. Good size closet. I don't, yeah, I don't think we've seen anything like that yet. I like when builders incorporate things like chandeliers in the bathrooms. Well, their designer definitely kept the colors all straight. Yeah. Happy with that. Excuse me. That was a really fancy staircase. Upstairs hangout area. And you can actually see Molly's nipple from this room. See it from this entire deck. Depends on mm -hmm. where Molly is. A nice big deck. Absolutely love the decor in this room. a lot of hallways on this floor. There's a massive closet bag there too. Yeah. Excuse us. Okay. Has an ensuite. Yeah, I have the flat roof. It would drive me scarce. I mean, you know. It's a life panel of judges. This house seems to be a very happening house right now. <laughs> There's a big closet there too. Oh. Sorry, it doesn't nope. often happen that somebody points a camera at you when you exit the bathroom. <laughs> this is the mudroom garage area. Oh, I love those countertops. Look at the powder bath. Floating vanities in every room. And that mirror actually continues underneath so you can check out your shoes on the way out of the house. That is handy. That's actually a very useful touch. Can you see? No. No, you can't, you can't really see. It would have been useful if they had like the under counter lighting. Right. Great job decorating this house. How are you doing? Good. Yeah, good. Around the corner here. Well, look at that. We made a sacrifice to the right gods, and the weather cleared up. -ish. Yeah. It is almost perfect. This is a sweet tennis court. Backs up right to the mountain. And Molly's nipple disappeared. You can see just the nipple if you look careful enough over there. It's right over there. The snow looks kind of cool. I love it fully finished in favors. Those black rocks with the waterfall 
flowing through them look incredible. I wonder how, how much of that would evaporate. This weather is getting better. That's, that's the part that we love about Southern Utah is our winters last exactly that long, typically. Sometimes they disappear and reappear, but usually by like March 1st, the weather is perfect. March 1st through, would you say, the end of May? Yeah, May starts getting toasty. Folks, well, that's our opinion of the weather. More important question is, what is your opinion of this home? Drop us a comment below. Tell us if you loved it, if you hated it, what was your favorite part. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so you don't miss any of our future videos. And we'll see you in the next one.